Hello collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, everything. If you just feel like watching, that is absolutely a okay. You are appreciated for doing that. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Really quickly, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy and intent being sent to you and your family immediately and permanently. All evil plans of the enemies against you have been dismantled immediately and permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. Mote. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on. I hope you all are doing well. Staying blessed. Staying fulfilled. Okay. We have the, ten, the nine of swords in the reverse. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mercy. Hmm. What do we have going on here? We have someone that's trying to come out of some type of mental anxiety, mental breakdown. Some type of mental imprisonment is self-imposed. Someone is finding possibly the courage to get out of a tricky situation they may have put themselves in. Um, this person has been having quite a rough time. This could be a masculine energy. Um, this is what I got, but also it could be feminine. We know energy is fluid. Um, it can be fem it can be masculine or feminine. It does not matter in tarot. Absolutely. Lord have mercy. Mm. Mm. I think someone has come to terms with their destiny, basically. Someone has come to terms that they cannot change something that they thought they were going to be able to change. Someone may have stolen some type of inheritance and they cannot legally withhold that in, uh, re inheritance from you. Someone may have blocked something from you and they cannot legally have what it is they were blocking you from. The chariot has to do with forward movement, taking charge of your life, having some type of victory, but it also sometimes has to do with legalities. So someone has come to terms with the fact that they have trapped themselves. They have legal consequences coming in. This is not just one person. This is a group. They thought that the battle was over. They thought the war was over only to realize they have legal issues coming in. This is absolutely legal. This is legal. The eight of swords has to do with mental imprisonment, self-imposed mental imprisonment, feeling from confined. It can also have to do with being locked up behind bars, being in jail, being in prison. And then you uh, topple that with the chariot. It's absolutely legal. There is something going on and people are kind of just accepting what the outcome is. It's like they've been doing so much behind the scenes, fighting amongst themselves, possibly for something that doesn't even belong to them. And they're now realizing this is the end for them. They're in chaos. They're in turmoil over something that they did or something they've been doing. They were expecting to heal, but it looks like it's not going accordingly. They have legal issues coming in. They're fighting amongst one another. What else can you expect? And I absolutely believe this has to do with some type of theft. I'm telling you, they were causing illusions. Some type of theft. These people stole something from someone. And there was some type of masculine that was ahead of this thievery. He may have bribed these people behind the scenes that, hey, I'll give you this if you do this for me. Hey, I'll give you $50,000 if you uh, support me into having this property or this money. I know it belongs to your family member. I know it belongs to your coworker. I know it belongs to your friend you've known for 15 years. But if you vouch for me, I will give you $50,000. And some of these people, like myself, we've never seen a check for $50,000 at one. And they went bonkers over it. And now they are in chaos. And they celebrated a little too early. I'm telling you, he was gaslighting these people, making false offers. They didn't know it was an illusion. This man was causing an illusion with all of them, giving them, making them false promises, tempting them to go to the wrong direction. And a lot of them accepted the offer. And I'm actually hearing all of them accepted the offer to accept money, bribery, false promises so that this man could receive something. 
This is false illusions. He had nothing to give them in the long run. And those that accept that money, the money is long gone because they probably misused it. The ones he promised positions to, they can't have those positions because the justice system, I'm telling you, the justice system is stepping in. They're like, no, this does not belong to you. This property does not belong to you. This inheritance is not yours. You cannot have it. I don't know who told you you could have it, but you have to return it. You have to return it. I've been getting this message for a while now where someone stole an inheritance and they bribe other people behind the scenes. This is a masculine that did this with a group of people. And these people are malicious. They're greedy. There's some type of bigotry going on here where they thought, oh, she's a black girl. He's a black boy. He should not be in this position. He does not deserve to be in this position. She does not deserve to be in this position. So she cannot have it. But uh, it became legal. They cannot go past the legal system. This is that someone dying and leaving you a property, possibly a house or something as well. And these people decide that the house is too good for you. You don't deserve to have that. So they go for forging paperwork, forging signatures and all of that to sell this property to someone, but they cannot legally sell the property. It's like you, they have all their I's dotted, T's crossed, bum, 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 bum. They go from A and then to Z now. Z said, uh-uh, and Z is possibly some type of governmental official, some type of governmental office, department that's telling them, nope, he cannot have this property. She cannot have this property because you are not the legal owner of this property to sell it to this person. The law is involved. These are people that are not even genuine with one another. They don't even like each other. Most of these people don't even know each other. They will not hang out with each other any day of the week. If they did not have this common denominator of stealing from you, these people have been walking around with a mask causing a lot of illusions. It's like you see them, but you don't know who they are. It's like a silhouette of them you're seeing or a shadow. You don't, you're not supposed to see specifically who it is that's attacking you from the back or from behind the scenes, but they don't have anything in common besides greed, selfishness. Stealing. Okay, it was not a promising offer. This absolutely has to do with a king of wands. Absolutely with a king of wands. This group may have even approached this king of wands and made this false offer to him, misguided him, and told him, hey, you're more like us. You understand where we're coming from. Okay, we're stuck in an old paradigm. We don't want this person taking over because they're going to change everything and it's not going to be in our benefit. We won't get to be greedy anymore. We won't get to hide assets anymore in overseas bank accounts. We won't have, we won't get to steal, you know, what belongs to other people, even though other people are at a disadvantage, we will be doing good. So you're just like us. You're greedy, just like us. So here's our friendship, you know, if you pretend like this property belongs to you, We'll all be will find things can stay exactly like they are and we'll all benefit from it. Idiot accepted. This was a false offer to him. He didn't realize that he thought they were genuine. I'm telling you, false offer. False offer. He did not accept it, uh, expect it. For some of you, he didn't accept it. I heard that come out of my mouth. Some of you, he did not accept this offer, but there's a masculine for someone specific he accepted this offer to steal from you, to block you. And there's someone trying to communicate with you and someone is interfering with it. So you do not become aware of this, this uh, uh, injustice. But these are thieves and they are exposed. This King of Wands is absolutely a thief. He is a thief. He may be even worse than these people are combined. 
okay? He thought he had destroyed, he had overcome, he had blocked you. He had some type of plan to get you caught up in some type of legal issues. It's not going according to plan. This is something a lot of these people have been doing and you all are not aware. There are inheritances that are being hidden from you. This person thought he had overcome, had the perfect idea on how to get you caught up in the legal system. It did not go according to plan. They're fighting amongst each other, still walking around with a delusion mask on their face, pretending like everything is okay. Disingenuine people. Disingenuine. This could be someone you worked with, someone that owns a business, someone that manages a business but is a whole horrible leader. Just maybe feels entitled. Someone is going to lose everything the moment you step into your abundance, your gift from the Most High. The moment you get what belongs to you, someone is going to lose absolutely everything. They will lose everything. They will have to leave. Some of you, some of this, these people are on a run. You see this? They're sneaking away in a hurry. That's how I'm seeing that. Someone is sneaking away in a hurry. They don't want to be found out. I'm telling you, someone is in a hurry. For some of you, there's a masculine wanting to come towards you with some type of false passion. All of a sudden now, they know that they like you. They find you to be beautiful and mysterious. They find you to be unique and intriguing. You're now their ideal woman, woman and that's because you have some type of abundance attached to you. And for some of you, this is because this masculine is coming in for one last trial to get you caught up in something. This is what they are trying to do. He's, he wants to come in and romance you, give you this false love offer to romance you, get you caught up in something, hopefully get you to sign over your birthright to them because they know what's best. They know better how to manage their birthright than you do. You better not. You better not. I'm telling you, you have an offer. You have some type of abundance that is yours, that people have been working behind the scenes to block. Someone has been trying to communicate with you and is being interfered with, whether that's a phone call, text message, email, uh, uh, DM, whatever it is, okay? But this is, I'm telling you, abundance. You are supposed to be in your privileged energy. This is my privileged lady, privileged gentleman card. You are absolutely supposed to be in your uh, uh, privileged energy. And these people have been blocking. They thought if they had you locked up, cut you, cut up in some type of legal issues, you will miss some type of court day or you will not respond to something. Or if they kept interfering with communications, you will eventually not show up or the courts or the government would decide well this person is not showing up so we might as well give it to this idiot it's not going according to plan that's not how it works it does not matter how long they keep doing this foolery fortune signature signatures trying to sell whatever is yours to someone else he will not get it legally and the government is not going to give them permission to have that they have to return it to you someone blessed you by the help of the Most High, someone blessed you all with an inheritance. This could be a house. This could be a check. This could be a business. This is something big, like an ace of pentacles, something big. And some of you, these people managed to get their hands on your money. They've been taking from it, taking from it, taking from it. And they're going to be held accountable for every bit of that money that they took, spiritually and physically. This is you. This is where you're supposed to be. But these people have been stealing from you. There is absolutely a court case going on. You could be a queen of cups. I'm telling you, this is what you are in, but this is what you're supposed to be. And this person that's been doing all of this, this is what they're about to be in. The moment you receive your abundance, this person is losing everything. Everything. That someone is about to lose their house, their car, their marriage, their relationship, network, networks, business connections, everything. Someone is about to be poor and out in the cold. Someone is going to be pulled out of a home. Okay? And this was a devious plan that was brought up, that was created and carried out by a group. And this masculine. 
absolutely. The moment you come into this, he's done. And I wouldn't be surprised if this person has been working behind the scenes to have you out in the cold, having, trying to get you fired, trying to get you put out of your home, doing all kinds of stuff, trying to get you caught up in something legal, as I mentioned earlier. Just maliciousness. Thank you. You are coming out of the cold into your abundance. Okay? Someone has been waiting. They were waiting to get a hold of this, but they couldn't get it justly. Okay? It's that you are going through healing. You're going through recovery. You've been knowing intuitively that something is out there for you. Something was left for you. Something was taken from you. Or you should be at a different level right now in your life, but there's been some type of interference. Your wait is over. Your nightmare is over. Your heartache, your headache, everything is over. Your burdens are over. You don't have to wait anymore. Someone thought they could come in and gaslight you into some type of false friendship, give you some type of false apology. Listen, it fell out that way. It fell out that way. I am going to put it here. Thank you. They were expecting you to walk away. It's like they wanted you waiting for so long. They said, like, oh, you know, if she or he is waiting for so long, they'll eventually give up if we keep doing all of these tactics to block them. They eventually give up. It's a lot of us and one of them. They're, they won't get a hold of this resource, right? And they were overindulging. Like I said, some of you, they got a hold of this, this, uh, uh, this wealth. They were overindulging in the tactics they were using to manipulate, to cause you stagnation. Now they are living in regret. They said, why did we take all of these actions? This eight of swords with the eight of cups in the reverse, there is no recovery. Someone is done. Someone is done. They've lost everything. In the upright, this will mean that this masculine, he still has his wealth, but he's going through some type of ascension. He's healing. This person has lost everything. This person has lost everything. This person has lost their mind, their peace, their quiet, their comfort. They have lost everything. And this is because someone has some type of clouded judgment about you. They made the wrong judgment. The courts made the wrong judgment in the past. They thought you were a queen of cups in the reverse because of what these people told them and showed them fraudulent documents. Fraudulent documents. They want to get in contact with you now, this chaotic group, but they cannot because you're not in the situation. They may have hired a queen of cups in the reverse to pretend to be you. She's not passing for you. People have been doing a lot behind the scenes. A lot behind the scenes. They expected the court to give them something, but the court said no. This is what I'm getting from the judgment card out here. If it was in the upright, then the courts would have given them this inheritance. But it's a no. It's a no. Someone is not able to pass for you. This is like someone dressing up as you taking on your character, they think they know how you behave, how you move, how you talk, how you act. Now they know how to present themselves to the courts as you, but it's not working. Or even to this group, it's not working. Someone is right now supposed to be a better version of you, but they don't know a lick of what you are or who you are. And they're not passing for you. 
It is a no. Someone, whoever this Queen of Cups is, is not getting what it is that's yours. She's going to be waiting forever. She is going to be waiting forever. It's not coming to her. This judgment has not been made to give it to her because she cannot fool the courts. This is someone that misrepresents themselves. This is someone that causes a lot of chaos. People are fighting with her. It's what I'm getting here. People are fighting with this woman. They want explanation. These two could have been working together. Probably some type of affair going on at work. Some type of collaboration. It's a whole lot going on. But someone is not getting what they thought they were going to get. Someone has lost all of their resources, finances. Someone has fallen from grace. They may be in legal trouble, legal issues, going to jail, having to pay some type of court fine, maybe on probation. Something is going on. And this was all for money. They thought they deserved what was yours. Is that what they tried to get you caught up in is what they ended up being caught up in. I'm telling you. They've been causing a lot of illusions. So this is this this is how I'm seeing this. This is this person in the reverse pretending to be you. They've been causing a lot of illusions about you. You're the actual high priestess. This person has been pretending to be a high priestess, but they don't have any gifts. So whatever someone left for you could be something that your ancestors knew would be perfect for you. It has some type of spiritual aspect to it. Maybe it's the surroundings. Maybe it's the type of business. Whatever it is, they knew that it was perfect for you. And the Most High granted you their wish. Some of you manifested this. You manifested this property, this gift, this blessing a long time ago. And you didn't realize when you were manifesting it, the universe was listening to you. They were like, oh, okay. Of course, child, you can have that. And they started grooming you slowly to become this energy. Now you are in this energy and it is time for you to step into your birthright. And these hooligans have been doing things behind the scenes to prevent you from receiving your birthright. Whoever left this inheritance for you, some of you, you don't even know this person on a personal level. They just... They were touched by the Most High to leave you this inheritance. Someone knew of you, but you were not well acquainted with them. But they knew you on a spiritual level. But this woman has been causing a lot of illusions. Her friends, she and her friends are fighting. They thought they had gotten away with something, but they are not. Someone is going, I'm telling you, you have your victory. Complete opposite. You have your victory. They really thought they had defeated you. Victory, honey. Abundance. I'm telling you. You're still into karma waters, moving on with your life. Living in abundance, uh, 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 prosperity. You're being seen for who you are. This is how they try to paint you. This is why they're fighting amongst themselves because everything they've been saying is just not adding up. And these are the energies you're showing up in. I told you this person may want to come in now to have some type of relationship with you. Be careful. This could have been someone you had some type of calling with, but they tune you out because money was offered to them. This person is part, the, for some of you, this is a masculine that's in a relationship with a woman and this couple was going up against you. Be careful. Abundance like this, if, when you're receiving it, this is not the time to be jumping into a relationship. This is the time for you to solidify your kingdom, your empire, your legacy, love. Let's worry about that a little later.
Whatever you did, be, I just heard, whatever you did, whatever strategy you took, whether it was intentional or unintentional, is helping bring this abundance in. You may have said something, did something, showed up somewhere, showed your face somewhere, called someone, sent an image, I mean, an, an email, a message. I don't know why the image came out. Maybe someone sees your image for what it is. Whatever you did, intentionally or unintentionally, it is what's helping people see the truth in this matter. This was a plan. This was a thought out plan. These people have been trying repeatedly to tick what is yours. It's like they try this, it doesn't work. They go back to the drawing board. Let's try it this way, that doesn't work. Let's go back to the drawing board. They've been committed, committed, absolutely committed. And someone may be on the run trying to flee from their consequences, but where will you go? Someone is trying to run. I, I said someone is trying to run and the Knight of Swords appears. Someone is trying to run, but where would they go? There's nowhere to go. I'm telling you, there is nowhere to go. There is divine interference. There is nowhere for this person to go. Someone has to answer for everything they've done. This group has to answer for everything they've done. There, are, There's a court case that's e either going on or about to go on. And these people are fighting amongst themselves because their illusions have been illuminated. They're being asked questions. Their stories are changing. Initially, they met so that they could all be in the same, on the same page, have the same story to tell. And they thought they were just going to go in once each time, each of them. And they were going to tell the same stories, but things started coming up, popping up, and they were called, being called in again and said, hey, we still need to talk to you. We found some new evidence. Hey, we need you to come back in. And every time they went in, something was changing. Someone's story has changed a lot. And for some of you, what I'm hearing is the government, the police already knew the truth, but they just wanted to see how these people, what they were going to do what they were going to say. There's someone that the universe has sent to advocate for you. There could be a divine masculine, divine feminine. Someone is advocating for you to ensure that you receive what is yours. Someone is going up against this group to do the right thing. I'm telling you, Things are going in your favor. Look at that. Right under the nine of pentacles. You are receiving what is yours. These people have been putting in blockages for a while. For some of you, these people have gone to like your communities that you live in. Told people, hey, if anyone come here to see her, don't let them in. If you have like a security system put in place or something where they have to go through a gate, a locked door or something like that. They are telling the managers or the owners of this company, do not let anyone in to see her because they don't want this message getting to you. Whatever email, a uh, 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 mail from the courts that was being sent to you, they've been interfering with it. They have not been letting anyone see you while you, you are living in this predicament. They know what state you are in. They say, she can keep waiting. <laughs> She'll keep waiting forever. He can keep waiting. He'll be waiting forever. She'll eventually walk away. He'll eventually walk away. And your ancestor said, no, there is no walking away. These people are living in regret. Regret. Is that why did we take all of these actions? And someone is telling him, we've tried everything. We cannot steal this. We cannot give you this. I literally had a vision of a man at work. And he had to sign some papers or something. And he looked really depressed. Like he was being let go or he was being given bad news. It was him and another woman. This was a Caucasian man and a Caucasian woman. The Caucasian woman is very short, petite. And he's average height. And he, he she was telling him, like, we did the best we could. It's going to be okay. You probably didn't know something. Like... 
I just saw that he was depressed because he was losing everything. It's like his time was over. It's that we've done all the trickster trickery we can do. We can't do anything anymore. And if we keep going, things are just going to get worse. Someone is losing everything collected so you can have what's yours. Someone didn't know every action they were taking was exposing them. I have this three of swords down here. Someone is absolutely heartbroken because you are as receiving what belongs to you. Someone is having a hard time because they invested a lot into this foolery. Someone has paid people a lot of money behind the scenes and the universe allowed them to do that. So, okay, you know what? Go ahead. Since you think you have all the money in the world, and you can just buy everybody. They let this person drain their account. Drain their account. Do you see how it went from a seven of pentacles, which has to do with elevation, promotion, growth, uh, a reward. And then it went to the eight of cups in the reverse. Someone may not be able to recover from this setback. And this was all self-imposed. Someone went to an extensive length. They went to families and friends, people that you were close to, co-workers that you possibly had some type of courteous, uh, a cordial relationship with. They wanted everyone to turn against you just so they could get your inheritance. But the Most High said, absolutely not. Justice is for this divine being. They will have what is theirs. This is a trickster at the core. This is a trickster at the core. There's a female in here that came up with this plan. And the two of them has been working together behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. They don't expose their hand. They throw rocks and hide their hands. They tell other people how to move. This one is fake as can be. This was a thought out plan. They've tried everything from A to Z you can think of. And it's not happening. It is not happening. I've been getting this message for a while. And I'm telling you, it's not happening for them. Good karma. You are going through a transition, an elevation. Upgrade. Do you see how dark, gloomy it is over here? Let me bring these two cards, honey, so we can get the full one on the quote up front and personal do you see the difference between these two cars it's dark here it's cold it's lonely there are two people in here that can barely even look at each other because they they're so cold one is looking at this institution this building this church whatever it is possibly thinking oh it looks warm in there i wish we could go in there but the door is shut they cannot go in there. Someone has been shunned by the very people they were working with behind the scenes. And then here you go. This is where you've been. You used to work for this institution. For some of you, this is how they left you out in the cold, rejected you, lied on you, didn't care what, what living situation you were in or if you even have kids, didn't care what state of living you are were in deplorable state they didn't care as long as they got what they wanted this this is a greedy institution the five of pentacles oftentimes it'll have to do with institutions that have the resources to give to you but they won't give it they'll close their doors to you these are like some churches charities and things like that sometimes this is how they operate they get into these types of businesses talking about helping the community, but then the money is so good to forget why they got into the business and they start rejecting the people they were, they were supposed to help. This institution was supposed to advocate for you, but they didn't advocate for you. They were supposed to send you a letter, some type of information. They didn't send it. They held on to it. And they didn't care what was going on with you your partner, your friends, your children, they didn't care. They were benefiting from you living in this state of being. And now things have changed. Karma is in your favor. Justice has been brought into situation. And this is you now, sealing the karma waters, guided by the, uh, 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 the universe, being supported. You've gone from darkness to light. Crazy. 
and they never expected you to defeat them, but it's not you that defeated defeated them. It was the most high. It was your ancestors, your guardian angels. They stepped in on your behalf because a lot of you didn't know all of this was going on. You just knew that people were against you, attacking you. You didn't know why they were attacking you. You had some type of hunch, but you didn't know what it was. You said, why are these people coming for me? I've never done anything to you. Never said a bad word to you or about you. Never stole from you. Never taken from you. Did I date your man or something by accident in the past? And I don't know. And you're holding it up against me. You didn't know. But these people just started kind of coming after you. They wanted to prove that you did not qualify to have this abundance. You were not capable of managing this abundance. It's not true. It is not true. And the courts was not aware. Some of you, these people pay officials in the courts to make things go in their favor. And it does not matter who they pay. Eventually, they still could not carry it through because there's legalities at the end when it comes to the government. It's like, no, you can't. You cannot claim this property. You didn't get this property the right way. So it doesn't matter what settings you change in your taxes or whatnot. You're not filing this property as your own, which now is putting them at some type of query with the person they sold it to possibly because he's or he or she is like, wait, you told me this property belonged to you. You sold it to me. I can't claim it on my taxes. So that means I cannot benefit from this property because, well, when you file taxes and you put properties on there, you get money back for those properties because those are expensive expenses you are putting into the economy, whatever country you live in, right? But this person purchased a property, whoever this is, purchased a property from this group and they cannot benefit from their property because they cannot claim it as theirs. It doesn't belong to the people that sold it to him or her. You see how it works? Honey, your ancestors don't play. They say, you know what? We're going to sit back and let you all do all of this stuff. And you're going to have to undo all of this stuff. And that's exactly what they're having to do is undo all of their trickery. They said, oh, there's a court case coming up. Let's interfere with their communication so they don't get notices about what's going on. And we can get what's theirs. And source, I absolutely do not think so. What, you're, you're, what you are about to do is trap yourself. And you will not be able to get away from what you're doing. You're going to be found out. You will absolutely be losing everything. Because we told you not to do this repeatedly. They had high hopes. Someone thought they were out of the dark. They were clear to do what they wanted. Clear to bring you legal issues. Clear to take you to court for what belongs to you. So I said, I, I know this mother effer is not about to come to my child with this nonsense. Talking about... This is my property, or you did this to me, so I'm filing charges. Sources say, excuse me? I don't think so. Absolutely not. This, this court said, absolutely not. This property does not belong to you. We knew who belong, who this property belongs to. I'm telling you, this is a whole code, COVID, whatever. This is an organized Shenanigans has been going on. Someone in here is dark. It could be this king of wands. Whoever this is, this person is dark. This group, dark. They are toxic, karmic, into low vibrational activities. They don't care who they are undercutting, trick, or stealing from. As long as they are doing good, that's all they care about. They don't care what's going on with you. Absolutely do not. Some of these people are religious in here. I'm telling you, these people are greedy. They overindulge. Some of these people are uh, uh, not, not greedy. Some of these people are religious. These are the people you'll find in church every Sunday. Every Friday and Saturday, they're sitting at the Bible study, reading the scriptures with you, praising the law. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We get to see another day. And then when they go behind closed doors, they go to serve their other master. Thank you, institution. The, the government. I've been saying something about the government. <laughs> something with the government. This promotion, this abundance, whatever this is, 
the government is preventing these people from having it. They cannot have it. There has been a decision made. This does not belong to you. Whoever this belongs to is the one that it is going to. You cannot sell this property to someone else. You cannot gift it to someone else. It does not belong to you to give away. These people saw you as like a little twig. They said, oh, well, she doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going on. So we're just going to do what we want to do. We're going to forge her signature. We're going to forge his signature. We're going to create fraudulent documents, put the signature on there, and give it to the courts. And the court said, I don't think so. We need her in here. We need him in here. You all are possibly about to go to jail. Jail for something that you should not have done. People didn't realize they're buying themselves. This has become legal. Just the very act of them even forging your signature, it became legal. I'm speaking the truth. And you, some of you are, you are gifted, you're spiritual, and you know intuitively something has been going on behind the scenes, but you didn't have the evidence to prove it. And now spirit is taking care of it. And that's how blessed a lot of you are. You don't even have to lift a finger. Your ancestors move on your behalf. The universe moves on your behalf. What is yours is first manifested in the spiritual realm. And then it is manifested on earth. This person, this was not manifested for them in the spiritual realm. So there's absolutely no way they were going to get a hold of this abundance and hold on to it and be able to keep, keep it. It's not theirs. This was manifested by you in the spirit realm. So you already have this blessing in the spirit realm. That is how manifestation works. People don't realize that. You are already in connection with this abundance in the spirit realm. And now you're about to have it in the physical realm. I'm telling you, the justice system. The justice system is absolutely working to bring balance into this situation. They know the truth. They've decided that it is not going to this person. Absolutely not. They are committed to bringing balance into this situation. Someone knows, someone in here knows that a wrong was done. So they're going to be taking action to correct that wrong. Correct their wrong. I'm telling you, so you can have your abundance. You're showing up here in a lot of beautiful energy. You're a freaking empress. I'm telling you, and you're going to have your wish fulfillment. These people thought they had it all figured out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a high priestess. She's an empress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a high priestess. He's an empress. But he can't figure out that we stole his stuff. No, you can't figure out that the universe is watching you and letting you make your stupid moves. You thought you were making money moves behind the scenes. But the universe was letting you make karma moves. Hanging yourselves. Digging holes for yourself thinking you were digging it for this person. Absolutely not. Honey. Call me crazy, but you're not going to call me a liar. Your Ten of Pentacles. This is a huge, huge abundance. This has to do with an institution. This has to do with a business. This is a business that has been behind the scenes pulling all of these ridiculous, childish moves. These illegal things. This is a business that has been doing it. And this business is abundant. That's why they don't want you to have it. They don't want you in a privileged energy. This is like, uh, 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 what do they call those people? The monarchs? This is like living like a monarch. Like an elitist. The privileged of the world. The one percenters. And they didn't want you to have it. I'm telling you, I had a dream where some, I just said dream and the musician is down here. I had a dream where someone had 
like 14 billion dollars 14 million dollars whatever it was it was a ridiculous amount of money and i saw it on like a, a um a reader and the money kept increasing it kept increasing it kept increasing and i said that's a lot of money that is a lot of money and it just keeps going up that means that this money has been increasing for a while it has been increasing for a while. This is something that could have been put in like a savings account for some of you. And you were not aware of it. Someone may have invested some money for you. And you didn't know. And it's been increasing and increasing and increasing. And now for you to have your abundance. These people say absolutely not. Why? Like they don't deserve that. Someone said you were mentally retarded, something like that. You are incapable of taking care of yourself. Someone knows that you are in the upright. So you're going to do the right thing with this money. You're going to be going to be making a difference in people's lives. And it pisses them off because these are dark people, selfish people, greedy people, imbalanced, superficial people. Right? So you're going to do the right thing and make a difference in other people's lives. And that's what they don't want you doing. They want you to be selfish just like them. You only give to them, people that are close to you. I'm telling you, keep your distance. Your, your abundance is being protected from these thieves. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. People didn't know what was going on behind the scenes until I'm telling you collaboration until you said what you said, until you did what you did, whatever it is you said or whatever it is that you did. And now this group, they may want to meet with you. This is their, their plan now to after going back to the drawing board for the last time. They want to meet with you, Starcy. Say, hey, we know we tried to steal your abundance. We know we had you living in this poverty but um, we were hoping we could, you know, <laughs> fix things up. Here is your property we were trying to steal from you. We were hoping we can all just kind of put this little thing, this little hiccup behind us. And you absolutely have the right to take these people to court. They will lose if you take them to court. And they know that. They know you're speaking the truth. They know that you already know. You know about this abundance. This is why it's right here in front of you. In your in, in, within your vision, your eyesight, they know that you know about this abundance and they have to let it go. So then this is their new plan to come and meet with you, invite you to something, bring something to your attention now. Like we know, we don't know if you know about this, but um, yeah, he left you some money and we wanted to make sure we give it to you. We wanted to give it to you personally. No, duh. You really think we don't know you've been trying to steal from us? Yeah, and this the moment you get this letter, it's done. I'm telling you, the moment you get this letter, this information, it's a done deal for this masculine and these people. You're moving forward. You're going to have authority over these people. That's what they don't want for some of you. The magician has to do with having authority in your life. Taking charge, you making the calls. No one can tell you what to do. Okay? And they know this. Some of you, you're about to be running a business where you will have authority over these people. You are going to be their boss. So they don't have a choice but to come in and be nice to you. Their collaboration behind the scenes is done. They cannot hide their hands anymore. They have to give you this letter because you know the truth. You are in the know about this. It's ridiculousness. This is ridiculous. This chapter of being held up by this karmic group, greedy people, is over. This chapter is over. You're starting a brand new chapter and moving forward. 
moving forward with passion. Moving forward, new direction, queen of pentacles. You're about to be abundance. Then no. Okay? The court is holding this for you. They're not having it. You are taking a new direction. The hermit has to do with choosing a new path. But thread, threading with caution. You know you are wiser now than you were before. You are in your queen of pentacles energy as well. So you know about this wealth. These people thought it was going to be easy to get this wealth, but the courts, the government, it's like, uh-uh, we're holding on to this until the rightful owner comes to get this. There's a queen of pentacles in here as well that is extremely greedy. This woman is greedy. Greed does not even emphasize how greedy this woman is. This is someone greedy. This woman does not want to let go of what's yours, even though she's been told she cannot have it. She does not want to let go. And just like she does not want to let go, once you get a hold of your inheritance, you're not going to let go either. So either way, your inheritance is being secure. It is going to be minded very well. She has it, but she cannot use it. The court is not a permitting them to use it. I mean, they don't know what to do with themselves. They're like, how is one person taking down a whole group of people? They don't understand it. But it's not you again, collective. It's the most high. It's your guardian angels. It's your uh, ancestors in the background touching the right hearts and minds to move things in your favor so you can seal on to come on water, live in bliss. Stay in purity. You're being told to keep your mind on positive things, positive thoughts. Because a decision is being made. I'm telling you. This woman is still trying to cause illusions. Regardless of what's going on. This queen of pentacles, this greedy woman. Still trying to cause illusions. Is that she does not know when to give up. She don't tire at all. I heard something about off your lights. She may be wanting to off someone's light. And that means they take you out. But she can't. Someone here knows. I'm telling you, still planning. This woman is still planning. Still planning. She is still planning. She's like going back to the drawing board. Okay, we can do this one last time. Oh, I have a new idea. And people are just like, no, we have to let it go. We're not going to get this money. We're not going to get this property. For some of you, these people have been in a house that was left to you partying day and night. They have this property looking a hot mess. And when you get it, you'll probably have to clean it out. You may have to rent this property out or something like that, but you're going to have to clean it out. There's a setup going on here. They may want to set you up for something you have nothing to do with. And that's because they prefer to see you locked up instead of living in abundance and having what belongs to you. Telling you. <laughs> There was a letter that has been interfered with for a long time. And this letter is being exposed. This letter has been going around to everybody but the right person, you collective. There is a message that has been going around. She may want to come in and cause you some type of confusion. Offer you something little, littler than what belongs to you. Don't do it. Don't take nothing from this woman. I'm telling you, she wants to betray you. <clears throat> human, human beings, some human beings are wicked. Wicked. 
Sometimes people are so weak and you wonder, is there a different organ in you that is not immune? That you are this wicked? They want to betray you, Empress. They want to betray you. But the truth is going to be illuminated to you about everything these people have been doing. I'm telling you, Tower, they cannot do nothing. They can't do nothing. They're being humble. I'm telling you. You're still standing your ground. You're, you're still protected. Your Ten of Pentacles is still protected. It's not accidental the Seven of Wands fell under the Ten of Pentacles. It is still protected. The courts is still holding on to what's yours. It's a rude awakening. The course is just now in the know. They're just now finding out that, oh, this person is alive. This person is over here. These people have been lying this whole time, forging documents and things like that. Forging documents. Forging documents. They're planning on how they can move forward to betray you even more. But there's some type of fall from grace, some type of ending like immediate ending that's going on with these people they cannot human beings are some of you some of us are wicked we are wicked the things we will do for money does not make sense people are wicked greedy hmm I'm telling you, you are in your Queen of Wands energy. You are fighting a battle. You stood your ground to these people. It said they wanted to shut you out, shut you down, make sure you're not seen, not heard. They didn't want people to know you were still alive. For some of you, they may have told people you had passed away. Some of you, they've been poisoning you through your food, your drinks, and everything. And you are still fighting. The Queen of Wands is a fighter. This is a warrior. I cannot. These people, are, some of some of us on this planet, we're we kids. Hmm. It doesn't make sense how wicked we are. We are wicked. The only people still under an illusion is this group. They are the ones still under an illusion. I'm telling you, they have to be practical about this situation now. It's that we've done everything. Nothing is working. She's stubborn. She still wants to do some more trickery. It's not going to work. So now they have to get practical. They, we we got to give her this stuff. We got to give him his stuff. We can't do this anymore. We're losing resources. We're losing connections. We don't even like each other. Blah, 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 blah. We need to give this person what belongs to them so we can have peace. These people don't have peace in their lives anymore. Someone in here is saying, I just want my life to be peaceful. I just want to have peace again. They don't have peace. Your ancestor says, we don't want peace. We want problems always. And they stuck to their guns. These people are going through endings, endings, endings. People have gotten themselves legal court cases that they didn't expect. They didn't expect. People have landed in situations that they didn't expect to land in. Someone in here, their brother got them caught up in something he had no business being part, a part of. So their brother and sister relationship may be coming to an end. There's an empress in here that's coming to an end as well. She's going through some type of karma, getting a taste of her own medicine. You all know my Ten of Swords. That's what that means for me is you getting a taste of your own medicine. This woman is having a hard time. There could be something going on with between she and her husband, she and her son. But she was causing some type of illusion to people. And she's going through karma. May not be recovering from that. 
We are human beings. We can be wicked when we want to be. Oh, yes, indeed. Being practical, doing the right thing. Hmm. Some of you could be having a brand new passionate beginning with a, a, a king of pentacles that's in the upright. He knows about this collaboration. Lord have mercy. Ooh, yeah. You're getting what's yours, honey. You are getting what's yours. This inheritance was something someone left for you. This was something someone left for you. And these people feel entitled to it. I keep hearing the word bigotry. Someone in here is a bigot. And they don't even have room to be a bigot. This is like the last person on planet Earth that should be a bigot. But they are. Hmm. Lord have mercy. You can expect to receive some type of information about what has been going on behind the scenes, this shenanigans with these hooligans. Your ancestors have been playing your enemies like a game of chess. They thought they knew how to play chess, but they have never played this type of chess before. They've never played this type of chess before. It has worn them out. They've lost a lot. Friendships have been lost. Finances have been lost. Careers have been lost. A whole lot has been lost. And it was not your fault collective. It was because of action these people took. They took these actions of their free will. And be, the part of the reason why these people took this action is because these are people that don't share. So they assume when you got a hold of this money or this property, you weren't going to share with them. They, don't, they didn't even care about you sharing with them. They just decided you didn't deserve it. You couldn't have it. And the masculine they wanted to give it to, this is someone just as corrupt as they are. They said, oh, he's one of us. He's just as dark as we are. We are dark together. Dark friends forever. Sora said, I don't think so. I'm going to fix this situation for you all immediately. Immediately. If you think you're about to succeed over my light worker, the one that volunteered their time to come to your planet to help you all heal and elevate, I think you got me effed up in more ways than one. I am not the one, the two, nor the three, says Source. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh. It just says, this is the cover of the cards. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to decide what the message is. Let's see what happens next. I didn't even know that was in there. I think what this is, is that you get to decide your path. Because this is just saying injure mess, injure, injure numbers messages you decide so you decide what happens with these people how this situation is going to play out this is why we have that card brilliant the ball is in your favor you have the upper hand in the situation i advise you to be mature about it Be mature about it. So we have 24, which is six. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at initiate or at maintaining balance, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider at all 
all at once. I am generous. I'm telling you, be mature on how you handle this situation. Do not scoop to these people's levels. Do not let them turn you bitter. You already won without even having to fight these people in any way. The universe simply moved on your behalf. So do not let them change you. Do not let them, don't prove them right. Because some of you, these people have been saying that you are hateful, you're bitter, you're this, you're that. They've smeared your character in a lot of different ways. And if you decide to respond to them in that manner, it's just going to prove what they're saying about you, even though it's not true. These people have been saying you are mentally unstable, mentally ill, and incapable of managing your own wealth. So do not react to anything they are saying so that the court does not believe their nonsense. But I want to thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.